Hi, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. All right, let's jump right into today's very exciting video, as we're here to talk about how to level up your Pico 4 with the Next Level Racing Wheel Stand 2.0 and the Suede and Leather Elite Chair. But first, do smash those likes, as of course, without Next Level Racing, we wouldn't be able to bring you more exciting content. And thank you also for taking part in watching today's video and your support in the channel. So we're going to talk about the actual setup and of course what is it like to use the next level racing wheel stand 2.0 with the elite chair. First of all the delivery was absolutely straightforward from the day they told me they were going to send me a unit to the date I received it was extremely fast and when I received it I saw these two ginormous boxes I have to say it did take my breath away. By the way before I give you the pros and cons do remember that you can become part of the membership squad and receive exclusive channel perks. More info after you click the join button located under the video. I was really excited to try out the wheel stand because for the last six months I've been using the Logitech G923 on my desk and the true force could shake so much at times that everything would just fall over, breaking the immersion whilst I'm in VR. I'm happy to report that all the contents inside of the two boxes were all neatly bubble wrapped. There was absolutely no scratches or dents or any damage of any kind on any of the items whatsoever. None of the parts were missing and of course it came with the instruction booklets as well which were very easy to follow I must admit and I'm certainly not the best of builders by far. I would say to complete the installation you're going to need at least a good couple of hours maybe longer if you're going to have a break in between. I could really tell that Next Level Racing took a lot of care in how they present their products as the stitching and also the fabrics from the pure leather to the premium suede were really top notch. The chair is fully adjustable including the armrests as well as the actual inclination of the chair itself and also the height whether you want it to be lower or higher. One of the plus points of the wheel stand is the fact that it comes with a next level racing gaming chair cradle which will allow you to position your gaming chair inside of it so there's no extreme movement on the heavy braking and driving conditions locking your chair inside of the actual cradle itself. This also means that you don't necessarily need to purchase a next level racing gaming chair you could use your own chair to put it inside of it. And I must admit that every time I was driving under heavy conditions especially during Dirt Rally 2 which requires you to constantly shift between the brake pedal and the accelerator even though my chair came with wheels it was locked in place all the time I just never felt that my chair was going to fly backwards. The wheel stand 2.0 by the way is constructed from carbon steel laser cut and robotically welded for a premium and consistent finish. It is compatible with major wheels and pedals pre-drilled specifically for Logitech Thrustmaster and Fnatic. For those who prefer to manually switch gears with a gear shifter there is a actual gear shifter arm that does come inside of the box but I simply did not install it as my Logitech has the gear shifters behind the actual wheel. And do make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be uploading some videos soon giving you full reviews as to what it's like to use the Logitech G923 with the next level racing wheel stand. I will also upload other videos giving you my tips and tricks as to how to optimize the graphics for the VR sims for the Pico 4. Of course comparing also the next level racing chair with my Secret Labs Superman series chair. Another plus point about the stand is the fact that it is completely foldable so if you don't have a lot of space and you need to put it away somewhere you can certainly do that. Even though the stand is fully adjustable including where you rest the wheel you can bring the table closer to you or where the pedals are you can put the plate further away depending if your legs are shorter or longer I have to admit that the steel is very heavy and before you can make any adjustments or fold the actual wheel stand you're gonna have to loosen up all the various different nuts and bolts which doesn't really make it very convenient. Other than that whilst I was streaming virtual desktop to my G8 Fury ZBook nothing fell apart everything was sturdy and I just had a lot of fun. So do go to the link in the description below for more info. Alright so I just want to show you where you actually put the wheels because I forgot to show this as part of the video and at the same time give you a little tour as to how and where I put the 
new wheel stand which is at the back all right come on let's go together let me show you it's all here so as you can see let me bring some more light so you can see a bit better okay so this is basically where you put the chair which is inside of here so this is the part i wanted to show you and this once the chair is taken off will actually fold there but you do have to unhook the nuts and bolts which is the thing that's not very convenient about this chair is the fact that you know you do have to do that so let me just show you what it looks like here so of course i can't have two chairs in my office so the other chair is in the uh, is in another part of the building um but yeah i just wanted to show you that you can use another chair and put it in here not necessarily the next level racing chair and then when i try to pull it as you can see it doesn't really move whatsoever so it's really good in there you know it's really working pretty well you know you really would have to pull it very very harshly in order to create any issues whatsoever and just to show you that when you remove the chair just pull it up and then i'll just pull this part up like so and then this if i was just to unhook it a little bit it would just go like this so as you can see it doesn't take that much space a little bit of space of course uh, but otherwise, yeah, no, it looks pretty, pretty cool. So guys, see you in the next video. Bye for now.